Hello everyone. This is Sudoku Primer video number 95. Where it's going to be an answer sheet to solving puzzle number 80, which is a hard puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 106 by Soap Opera Digest. Uh, the previous video was a pop quiz, and a pop quiz is where I just fill in numbers and don't explain why and you see if you can follow along and see why I placed each number. Um, so in this video I'm going to give you the answers to that, um, just explain why I placed each number. Uh, you may want to watch the previous video first before you watch this one. So well, I'll get started here. And I'm going to put the numbers in in the same order that I did in the previous video. Uh, the 3 is pretty straightforward. We got a 3 here and a 3 here, so that's the only 3 left in that section. Okay, I put a 5 there. How did I get that? Well, there's a couple of ways, but I'll point out um, one way, because this isn't very common. We've got quadruplets here. Without that 5 um, there we have a 6941 which is quadruplets right here and so the only number left is a 5 um, so once in a while you'll see quadruplets or even quintuplets but uh, they're a lot more rare than uh, twins and triplets another way you could have found that was we got 3 5 and 7 missing here on the top and on this row 1 here and we got a 3 and 7 here already, so that's a 5. And then we can just fill in the other two numbers. There's a 3 here because there's a 7, and then the 7. Put a 7 there because we have 7s here and a 7 there. These are pretty easy too. We got an eight here, eight here, and eight here. So that makes that an eight. And then we've got an eight here and an eight here, so that makes that an eight. Got an eight here and a wall here, so one of these has to be an eight. And we've got an eight and eight here already. Okay, how did I get a four there? Well, we've got what's missing in this uh, column here. We've got one, four, six, nine. One, four, six, nine we're missing in this column before I put the four in. We've got a one and a six and a nine here, so we know that's a four. We get a three here the same way we did this three right here. We got threes, so there's the only three left in this section, just like these threes got us that one. Okay, how did I get that eight? And then I put an eight here after that. We've got eights here, so one of these is an eight. We've got eights here, so one of these is an eight. But how did I know that was an eight and not that? Well, if you look in this row right here, we're missing one, four, six, eight. Or I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Look at this column right here. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong place. Uh, we're missing two, five, seven, eight, nine. Two, five, seven, eight, nine in this column. We've got a two here, a five here, seven, and a nine. So we know that is an 8. Okay, so that's how I got that 8. And then this 8 is straightforward. Got these 8s, so that makes that an 8. Okay, then we got a 7 here because we've got a 7 here and a wall here, so ghost 7 is there and a 7 there, so that makes that a 7. And we got this two in a very similar way. We got a two here, a wall here, so we got ghost twos there. So 
Ghost 2 is 2, and so that's a 2. That 2 is real easy because we have a 2 here and a 2 here. And again, that 2 is pretty straightforward. We've got 2's there and a 2 there, so that makes that a 2. Okay, that 9 is very straightforward also. Then we put a 9 here. Now, how did we get that 9 there? We've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so we know one of these is a 9. But how did we know that was a 9? Well, we've got 9's missing here in this box, in column 1 and column 3. We've got 9's missing here in this box, in column 1 and column 3. And with a double column elimination, we know that this can't be a 9, because row one or column 1 and column 3 are already uh, taken care of. So we know that's a 9 right there. Then we fill in that 5. It's the only number left in this column. put a 5 there. Uh, that one's pretty easy. Okay. And then we put 1's in these three places. Place that one first because of these 1's. Now we place this one because of this one and this one. And then because of these two 1's we can place that one. We put a 3 in B, uh, box 2 here. And why wouldn't this be a 3? Well, we used double column elimination here again. We've got a 3 here, so one of these is a 3. We've got 3's here, so one of these is a 3. That covers column 1 and column 2. So we know the 3 had to be in column 3 in this, in this box. Four and seven were the only two numbers missing in row nine here. And there's a four there, so we knew that was a seven. I just saw that and filled the four in first. These sevens are very straightforward. Seven, 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 and seven, 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 seven. Okay, how did I know that's a 4 and that's a 6 and not vice versa? Well, because we have a 4 and 6 here missing. We have a 4 here already, so I knew that was a 6. I just placed the 4 here first. Then I put the 6 in because it was the only number missing in this box. And then I put the 6 in down here. I got a six there, a six there, and a four there. And the reason I did that, well, let me just be honest with you, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I uh, I placed this six here first, and then I placed the six and a four here. And uh, looking back, I don't I don't know wh wh why I could see that that was a six as opposed to this. Because we got three, four, six here, we got four, six here. So I placed that six here, and I may have seen something, but I can't, for the life of me, see why I placed that six there. I may have just gotten lucky. I'll just be upfront and honest with you. Uh, and then I put this four and six in right there. Okay. So, uh, so I'll just leave that at that. And we'll move on. <laughs> okay, and then we've got a six here because we have a six there. And then we've got a six here. Okay. Then we put the four in here. It's the only place a four can go because of that four. 
Same with this 9. We've got a 9 here already. Because of this 9, we got 5, 9 here, here, so we know that's a 5 and that's a 9. And because of this 5 and this 5, we know that's a 5, and therefore that's a 4. Okay, now that we have the 4 here, we know these three 4s here, there's a 3 here and a 4 there. I put the 4 in and then the 3. Now we've got 1's here, so we got 1's right here and a 1 there. We know one of these is a 1, so we know that the 1 goes there in box 7. Okay. And then we can fill in this 1 here. We could have filled this one in first, but when I knew that was a one because of these ghost ones here, since I hadn't filled that one in yet. Okay. Then I went over to box eight and put a five in. It's the only number left in this column. And then we got five and five there, so we knew that was a five. And then I put a three in here. And a 9. We have 3 and 9 left there. We have 3 in here and a 3 here, so we knew that was a 3. And then now we can fill in this 9 in box 9 right there. And that's a 2. And a 4 in box 1. I could have filled that in when I put the 1 in, but I, I didn't do that. And then we've got a, a 2 right here. And that's it. So, so that's how I solved this puzzle, uh, puzzle number 80. I still need to do a diabolical puzzle from volume 106. I'll be doing probably be doing that video next. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.